one of those muscle groups that I again I focus more on not necessarily pushing 600 pounds because I can't but because I focus more on volume isolation attacking it because again I'm trying to create width to my shoulders so that when I stand on stage it makes my waist look really really small so I want to try to keep incorporating that's why I focus more on laterals than I do on pressing motions so I try to isolate that so other muscles will do the same thing. Um, I will do with some heavy stuff, but again, a lot of my stuff is just mainly isolation and volume, 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 volume. Good. Good. step up piece or a pad to create more of a uh, posterior press to the actual muscle so your shoulders are more posterior instead of anterior and then we flip it like so to go back forward toward the anterior deltoid so essentially it's kind of a high volume and by this time he's dead tired a lot of my small muscle body, small muscle groups, I will do that where I will take a um, maybe a heavier, higher intensity, like I did with back last time, and then I'll flip it and do something with lower weight and volume. And I do that a lot with shoulders, some of my back, and arms a whole lot. Chest and legs, I don't do too much because I'm so pod and heavy, and those muscle groups adapted pretty well for me. <coughs> What's up? What's next? Something a little different. I get, I get into more uh, high volume lateral stuff. I'm not a big believer in uh, heavy presses per se. Um, yes, I back, you know, I 315 behind the neck stuff, you know, when my health, my shoulder feels better. But um, I'm a huge fan and big believer in philosophy of high volume laterals, multi set laterals, either dumbbell, barbell, machine. The problem with a lot of laterals, and I've gone in almost nauseam about it, is that standing laterals have a lot of uh, anywhere from a 30 to 45 degree angle waste of portion of where you're not really doing much. The force is being, gravity's pulling it down, you don't start really getting a, a lot of deep contraction until you get to a certain point or angle. So, via some rehabilitation exercises and what they do in physical therapy and biomechanics is you take each human body, flip it 90 degrees. I'm not exactly flipping at 90, so the benches are being used, so I flip it 60 almost. So I, I, I just do a basic uh, a side lateral, but I'm leaning, which then re recruits, or you get more of the tension in the, in the actual deltoid where I want it to be instead of being just a wasted motion or I get majority of the motion back. So can't do 80 pound dumbbells on this. 
so you got to reduce the weight, but then I get top uh, tension constant and full stretch range of motion that I want. So what I'm doing is I'll probably combine about three exercises right now into one set. High volume, a lot of blood flow. range of motion is really pretty small and minuscule. I'm also twisting right from the movement. So it's more posterior or more the posterior part of the medial head. Why are you laughing? Lateral machines because the tension is constant. This no longer involves gravity directly. The tension is constant through the whole range of motion. So that it's not a, a dumbbell where you actually I flipped it. But so this not my favorite machine. It's an old school machine. I do like old school machines, but I like the the seat one with the pads because then again I can focus on trying to retract my shoulder blades and get more of a the posterior, uh, I say, posterior aspect of the medial delt. So again, when I train shoulders, I want to perceive that illusion of width. I want, to, I want it to be the widest part to be that medial aspect of my shoulder. So it creates an illusion because the wider your shoulders are, the more narrow your waist looks. It's all an illusion. <clears throat> So shoulders feel good, pumped up, uh, good volume today. Um, don't get really sore that often with them, but um, they respond pretty well. But um, hopefully, like I said, in the next couple weeks, come a little bit tighter, around, sitting around 252, 253 right now. You know, if I lose a couple more pounds, I'm fine with that. Even if I weigh 250, 249 on stage, or weigh-ins, whatever, I don't care. I just want to have my... Uh, my butt sharp so to speak so got some more work to do about seven weeks from today and we'll see we'll see if I can beat it out or we're not well I guess there is no war but <laughs> have to so anyways thank you hope to see you guys soon